We're going to enter this greater community because other races are intervening in the world and are visiting the world and, act, and are active here. That is how we will encounter a greater community of intelligent life. But this reality of contact must serve humanity. It must occur for humanity's best interests. It must be ethical from our standpoint. Or we're simply being manipulated and undermined by foreign powers who will not reveal their presence or intentions to us. And who in so many ways have been giving a false impression of who they are and why they're here. Promising people free energy, promising people fulfillment, promising peace, promising wise leadership, convincing certain people whom they are focused upon to believe that only they can lead humanity forward into a greater future. The contact that we're experiencing today is not ethical because it represents an intervention, a forced entry into our world without human awareness, without human permission, without human agreement. It does not matter that some individual in government or some other network of power gave their permission because they can't speak for all of humanity. In fact, there is no one who can speak for all of humanity currently. But we know innately the difference between a visitor and someone who intervenes in our home, or in this case, in our home world. We know what deception is like. We know that when activities are carried out in a clandestine manner, that secrets are being kept from us and that their impact upon us is beyond our recognition. We have learned over time to suspect such activities and to not hold them in trust or confidence. Humanity is the native peoples of this world. History has taught us that intervention is always carried out for self-interest. And when native peoples are discovered by intervening foreign powers, it is almost without exception to their detriment, leading to their submission and sometimes to their complete destruction. An intervention is unethical. It's a forced entry. It's a violation. And the Allies of Humanity briefings reveal that all the extraterrestrial races who are here in the world today, interfering in human affairs, are part of this intervention. So we're dealing with an unequivocal situation. Every presence in the world today that is from a foreign planet represents a part of the intervention. They're all here for the same purposes, to take advantage of a weak and divided humanity, to gain access to the world's immense and valuable biological resources, to position themselves as leaders and guides and even mentors for a struggling and unaware humanity. Taking people against their will in an abduction scenario subjecting them to cruel experiments, doing powerful mind control exercises upon them, leaving them psychologically damaged, leaving them without a sense of self-determination is truly an unethical form of contact. And when you begin to look at the activities of the intervention as they're revealed to the Allies of Humanity briefings, you begin to see that this really is an attempt to undermine and to gain control of human awareness and human understanding. And that this is being done without the use of military force, but through the power of persuasion, inducement, and intimidation. People are either encouraged to believe and to give their power over to this foreign and mysterious intervening races or they're intimidated, thinking that they have no possibility of resisting. Either way, people are led to be acquiescent and to not exercise their power and authority as the native peoples of the world. 
the contact that we're experiencing today is unethical. But for it to be ethical, we have to establish our own rules of engagement and our own ethics of contact. The Declaration of Human Sovereignty, which is a beautiful document that has been created by people who have been inspired and illuminated by the Allies of Humanity briefings, is giving us an idea of what a declaration of human sovereignty, a declaration where we are demonstrating what ethical contact is to us, would actually look like. And this can be read through the Allies of Humanity uh, internet site. It's a very important document, and it gives us power and authority and self-determination in the universe. The world today is diminishing human authority, diminishing human self-determination. Hopelessness is growing everywhere. People feel diminished. They feel they have no power to respond. They feel oppressed, controlled, and manipulated by human authority figures and institutions of government, religion, and commerce. But really, humanity has a great power and a great spirit. And we have to reclaim that power and spirit if we're going to be powerful in the universe, if we're going to be recognized and respected by other powerful nations. At present, we're a weak and, divide, weak and divided stewards of this planet, and we are not garner, garnering respect. In fact, it is our destruction of the natural environment that has brought this intervention to our shores. And now we have to face this and deal with it. It is a war of persuasion and a war of ideas and a war of will. It is our will and our power that must rise to the fore. If we are to be a self-determined people and a free and sovereign race in this world, we are to maintain that and to build that and to secure that into the future as we undergo this emergence into a greater community of intelligent life in the universe.